Hello everyone, the Skilled Roy here, back with another Legends of Runeterra video. Now, Legends of Runeterra is obviously a game based on the famous game League of Legends. League of Legends is a MOBA, and of course that means the characters from that game have a wide variety of abilities. And unless they wanted every champion in LOR to look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, they kind of needed to be specific and selective with what abilities they brought from League of Legends. Of course, LOR has done an amazing job bringing the world of Runeterra and the champions and transferring them into the card game. And today, I'd like to illuminate some of those inspirations rather directly. And so, without further ado, here is how they brought Darius from League of Legends to Legends of Runeterra. There is no greater symbol of Noxian might than Darius, the nation's most feared and battle-hardened leader. Rising from humble origins to become the Hand of Noxus, he cleaves through the Empire's enemies, many of them being Noxians themselves. Knowing that he never doubts his cause is just, and never hesitates once his axe is raised, those who stand against the commander of the Trifarian Legion can expect no mercy. That is of course who Darius is, and they nailed him perfectly. Firstly, he is of course the commander of the Trifarian Legion, a group who we actually see plenty of in the game. From the Trifarian Hopeful to the Trifarian Shieldbreaker, we can see many of the Noxian soldiers who are under Darius's command. Not only that, but we get to see in LOR where Darius has his legion trained at the Trefarian training pits, all of course being looked over by the Trefarian assessor. But when you're bringing the character over from another game, it's not just the lore you have to think about. You also have to think about how his mechanics feel and how he operates. After all, Darius fans from League of Legends will still want Darius the card to feel like Darius. So let's take a look at Darius then. Darius is a 6 mana 6-5 six with Overwhelm. This is fine, it gets across the massive power that he has pretty well, however once the opponent drops below half HP, Darius will level up. This level up animation is pretty simple, but that's just how Darius operates. He pulls the camera in, which is a reference to his apprehend ability in League of Legends, which allows him to pull enemies close to him to deal damage. Then once you're in his range on low HP in League of Legends, he uh, executes, dealing massive damage with his ultimate. This is symbolized not only with his level 2 art, but in the fact that he gains no new abilities on his level 2 card text, but rather gains a massive stat increase of 4 attack and 1 HP. The level 2 art in particular seems to be showcasing Darius leaping forward towards his next target, readying his axe to strike. This massive spike in attack power is actually a possible reference to his passive in League of Legends. Once activated, Darius gains 30 to 230 bonus attack damage, which is a massive spike throughout the game of League of Legends. Thankfully though, Darius isn't a 230 power unit in Legends of Runeterra, but the 4 power he does get showcases that increase beautifully. But moving on, let's take a look at his Q in League of Legends. This is called Decimate, which does this huge circular attack with his axe around him, and if it hits an opponent on the blade, it does more damage than it does on the hilt. Now, in Legends of Runeterra, the card is simplified down as a simple damage spell that just does a good amount of damage to the opponent's nexus, but it does not feature the typical healing that the original Q did from League of Legends, as that's typically not really something that the Noxian cards can do. Up next, we have his E, Apprehend. Apprehend pulls enemies close, immobilizing them as they are pulled. They decide to translate this ability into Legends of Runeterra as well, but not on Darius himself. Instead, they gave it to a separate card called, obviously, Apprehend. Apprehend stuns an enemy, similarly to what Immobilizing does in League of Legends, and then if you have Darius, you rally, giving yourself the ability to attack again, which honestly represents the danger of being pulled into Darius' range in the first place. Even more interestingly, Apprehend actually has a passive that reduces the defense of enemies, allowing more of your damage to reach them. In a way, this could also be a reason as to why Darius has Overwhelm, because obviously, being built like a force of nature, him lowering the opponent's defense so he can get more damage through sounds like it could be a perfect representation of Overwhelm in Legends of Runeterra. But of course, we cannot ignore the hallmark feature of Darius. In League of Legends, Darius's ultimate is called Noxian Guillotine. It's a powerful execution attack that does true damage to a target, and if it kills it, Darius is able to use it again and again and again until the timer runs out or there's simply no one left to kill with it. And of course, with such an iconic ability, they had to bring it to Legends of Runeterra, and Noxian Guillotine in LOR kills a damaged unit, and after it does, it's able to be keep getting cast over and over and over again as long as you have both mana and targets. 
This is a perfect example of moving an ability over from League of Legends to Legends of Runeterra and it being absolutely awesome to play with. When you smash through a multitude of units with Noxie and Guillotine, it definitely gives you the same satisfaction as multi-killing with Darius' ultimate. And that's that! Those are all the references that I could catch that made it into Legends of Runeterra. What champion do you want to see me analyze next? There is a lot of really cool references from the original game or their lore that got moved into the card game as well, so be sure to check those out too. Anyways, that's all for me. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.